morning everyone is it even morning because you know me yet yeah it is morning it's 11 37 a.m i don't know this is one of those ones where once again it feels hey god toronto drivers i don't know if it's because i'm the one that's vlogging or if it's because these people just don't have sense lately like i've gotten it like so I've been recording here and there, right? And I've been vlogging here and there. And I feel like since I've been away from this for such a long time, when I'm in the car and I'm vlogging, guys, I get really, really shook. Like, I feel like it's almost the same thing as using my phone sometimes. Because I'm talking to someone or, like, you know, there's the illusion that I'm talking to you. Okay, no, wait. We need to continue this when I slow. All right, so this is what I was really trying to say before. I decided to come out today to see patients because me and her were going to remake the Nigerian tag video. But we wanted to add, like, a little, a little spin to it, make it a little bit more interesting. I don't want to do those ones where I'm just sitting down and answering a bunch of questions and just, just looking at you guys. There's so many times where I, I really do want to vlog or really want to create content. I feel like there's nothing to, to create. So I felt like, you know, why not recreate something I've done before? So I was like, yo, let's actually go to this new restaurant that I heard about. About. they just opened it in some mall it's not really a restaurant actually it's some nigerian um food stand in like the mall in the food court so i was like you know what let's go over there let's get something to eat and kind of make this nigerian tag video a little bit more interesting while we do it so we're gonna go test out their food and then we're gonna record this video real quick oh there she go 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 wait wait, wait. go back go back go back go back go back go back walk again this girl's a fool she actually went back to go walk again Hey baby! Woo! Oh, you're back! I want an extra. Ah, yeah, yeah. Delicioso. Thank you, baby. How are you, my love? Hey! You look beautiful. Oh, look shit. Your hair, guys. You're back and you're back. Back and better. This girl left me. Oh, yeah. How are you, my love? I missed you so much. Oh, oh my god. god. You I look so cute. Look at this. You're so nice to me. That's cute. Wait, why? My video, how much no you will vex. pay? Just see my lash, the glue no green, come on. Look, I see. Whatever. Hello, everybody. What's going on? How far? Long time. No see. What's going on? What's popping? How's your life been? My life Yo, has patience. been gracious. Check out my face. Okay, I didn't say this to them yet, right? And you what? guys probably won't be able to see, but look, I'm actually getting acne. Jesus. Do you Delilah. see what I'm talking about? I, I started using... I what don't know you what using? it is. I don't know. I use like about five new things, and now I'm about to just like, trash out everything. Like, that. like, like look, all these small, small rashes. Yeah. Like all those, you bought products we're using before. I like your lashes though. You don't Thank like you. No, I do. I just feel like they're they're just. I'm not used to them because they're really loud. At least you're not loud. Look at mine. This glue thingy. Like I think it's because I didn't glue. And you know, say I be want to bring glue, but if you say you go get glue for your house, but I'm thinking instead of doing the video at that food court, right? Yeah. What we can do is we can just go there, go vlog. Mm -hmm. Then after we vlog small, if you just buy the food, come mm -hmm. your house, record the video for you. Okay. Wait, I was gonna surprise you with something. You know, I love her so much because, like, she's, like, the queen of surprises. I don't like surprises, but sometimes she knows... Not because I never even get money. The kind of surprise I want, they surprise my friends. She they knows how God. to pull up with the surprise, and I hate surprises. My Shut love. up, you will like the I love the surprise. Let me just form Let me say that big surprise. Now, only surprise. cook, I won't bring for you, because I don't see you like cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go Honestly, I would rate that, though, because I love the cook. I know you do, so... And I know people are going to be like, oh, coke is so bad, you shouldn't drink pop, but see, as long Girl. as there are people out here smoking cigarettes, eh, we do okay. We're okay. Coca-Cola should endorse us. I know, real taco, because the way we be drinking coke... Coke don't endorse people, so... It's, are you it's serious? Pepsi. Pepsi. Why doesn't Coca-Cola... Who they me? You they crazy. You know who Coca-Cola be? <laughs> so, Pepsi, they endorse everybody for everywhere. Mm. Coca-Cola, they're supposed to get Canada representatives like us. I swear, to be very honest. Coca-Cola. You need beautiful ladies on your campaign. Here to save the day. Hi. It's yeah. really bad though, right, patients? It's terrible. I so know, it's not no, terrible. It is. It's not no, terrible. trust me, it's it just is. Bad. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Even on top of your lip, Lila. Yeah, like right here and right here and just everywhere. It looks like you don't have smooth skin in real life. I swear. Meanwhile. And you know me that I have smooth skin. Meanwhile, just check this skin out. Like that, check this skin out. Smooth. I mean, my, only you. my forehead that you have something to worry about, but it's smooth. Your mustache, Uko. Ah! Guy, I would have went to wax it now. I would have. Jane is there, so just shut up. Yo, this hair suits you guys. Tell you, me are you it. serious, yeah, guys? I like it. And I love that there's so much body to it. I did the coloring myself. That's really nice. I should be bringing my wig to you to color it. I don't know why you haven't allowed me to explore with your hair. Because before it used to be. Yeah, it used to be. Yeah. It used to be a mate and miss. It used to be a mate and miss. That was me this morning. And now you look at it. Water, it's, minding your business. 
<laughs> so you need to stop using those products because you're too pretty to be having breakouts. I swear. And it's like, it's not pimples. It's like rashes. Small, small yeah. rashes. Yeah. What else? What do you use for, for, for your face to moisturize? Um, I normally use this oil. This cocoa oil. Guys, for all you guys who've been riding with Lila on her channel for a bit, I'm sure you guys know you've seen some drastic changes in Lila. I'm not even speaking about mentally or with her vlogs. I'm speaking about her image, her body image. There's nothing wrong with her. She's beautiful, but you can see there's many things happening in her life. She's losing weight. Ah, my God. I know. You know she's I was really breaking out. out. Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? But I don't understand because I don't understand how people that are living their best lives that are going through these things because, like, I'm not living my best life. And as you can see, I'm gaining weight. <laughs> I'm out here like this. This girl's living her best life and she's still coming back to eat. This one won't sleep. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Please, can you people tell me what kind of useless you might be this? Should I be extra? Should I take something? Be careful! I was trying to tell you to be careful before you squeeze face like monkey. <laughs> you got the girl giving me an attitude. I was trying to say be careful. No, that one really just pissed me off. Like, did you see her face? Yes. Same. Marshall. Marshall, 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 boom, boom, boom. But we're there. We're yeah. there upon the Grangeway Avenue, man. I like? Jamaican people, they go, they should, they go, I swear, they go sweat for you. Yeah. What you want me to say and what you want me to do? You know, I try to act like I have a little Jamaican accent, but my friends really say that I sound like I'm from Trinidad and Tobago and whatnot. Like, we can't really, you know, really get the, um, the pure, you know what, let me just stop. Just stop. stop. So, we have a actual addiction, guys. I don't know if you are really, like, our addiction is Coca-Cola. But this there. Two large co This there. No. I'm going to expose you. But as we reach Jesus the door, we can't reach the door, just going to call the door. can you get me fries, please? <laughs> My darling, I don't know if you tell you know, but you should say you want these fries. She was like, Yeah, I want fries. Like, I just I feel really hungry and I want to eat something. So I'm like, Okay, you know what, patience, you told me not to, to be getting you fries. You say, Anytime you say you want fries, I tell you no. She said, No, trust me, trust me, trust me. I just want small. Let's even share it. And I said, Okay. That's, look That's at how you. we came here. Look at you. No, you see? You know, you guys remember a while ago, I asked her. I said, I said, Lila, have you been drinking water and minding your business? Do you understand? She hasn't though. She has not been drinking the water. It's Coca-Cola and French fries from McDonald's. You can see she's eating. And number two, she does not want to mind her business because waiting consigned my okay. French fries with the Coca-Cola that I was just trying to talk about right now. I just want to make them know, say, this better person really likes the pins. No better person you be. You sabi shop fries. No be only Coca-Cola. This girl, she eats not even the McChicken burger of eight dollars. She eats this one. <laughs> oh my God, Lila, what's this fries? Oh Jesus Christ, what's Wait, the name what of the thing? This one? Like the the um, what's the you name of the yours. fries? The what's the, the, this the one? Oh, Talk to I, this one. Oh, Talk to I, this one. I, I want to wait to be this one. Okay, wait now. to be this one. So this freaking girl, she eats the um the, the, the junior uh, um, chicken. No sound like it's your junior girl. chicken. Every I've never day. God, I have never in my life. I, Lila! Yo, give me my fucking camera. Wait. Lila! Wait, I'll call my brother oh! right now. Patience. Okay, patience. you want this cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. Okay, cause I'll be more sweat for you. Me, oh, junior I chicken. We'll be saying I never junior chicken. My mouth never would say junior chicken for this my life. What could the life of my head? You tried it? You ever tried it before? I've never tried a junior chicken in my life. Nasty. Like that day when we go McDonald's. I've never tried a junior chicken. I only eat that cheeseburger. Day, you, well you, done. You ordered four junior chicken. I said Lila, you only you said I'm hungry. I said Jesus, Lila, you're hungry. That you're hungry to put when you eat. Come and join me. I was eating sushi that day. I said that I was on a keto diet. So I just said let me just manage. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, or better yet, welcome back to another vlog. So today, me and Patience, she's inside right now getting one and two things. Um, we're actually going to university, not like close by to where I live right now, but in a couple of months it will not be close by to me anymore. But it's called the University of Guelph, there's a program there that I wanted to check out that I'm looking to start in September. So. Patience and I, we're gonna go over there, get a little bit of information, see what see what it's like. I don't really have much planned for today other than to go to the school. And then once I go to the school, we're gonna go have lunch or something. And then once we have lunch, we don't know where the day is gonna take us. I should not even be saying lunch because it's high key, 2.30 p.m. So by the time we're done, it's gonna be like four o'clock, five. Mwah. Okay. 
ah, why did you get this way for me? <laughs> God, yo, you see bitches right now. Why is she so big? <laughs> I was so afraid of them. I don't know why. You know when you have one of the really? weird children fetish? Like it was like not fetish, everyone, that's the wrong word. Now everyone's like getting so excited because you hear about like the black Barbie dolls and whatnot. But like it's actually dolls, cool. Brass dolls been having black no brass dolls. That's actually very true. Yeah. I remember when I was in daycare when I was a lot younger, I would always see daycare. the daycare. Yeah, daycare. You know I stopped this brass doll when you did daycare. Yes, How many no. years you been? Yes, no. What do you did talk? Daycare. You know, 16 old. Look at you. She's not 16. <laughs> Go oh, for she <laughs> Seriously, now. Isn't that since I was in daycare? Wait, weren't you in daycare? Like, you well, I was still in daycare. I was daycare in when elementary I... school when I they blew my breast doll and me yeah, I read. No, so that, them days why I did daycare. You? Them days why I did daycare. Oh, 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 did it... Just know say the person where we want elect as prime minister for Canada now very abusive human being. This girl, I think yes, she be pizza house man. <laughs> So we're at University of Guelph. First of all, when we initially came, what do you want me? You're a thief, you bro. Did you see me? how she tried to take off the lid and pour some of my drink in my Who does you drink? Because I even helped you. I want how to even you give you some of mine. How? How did you help me? I want to even pour you some. Oh yeah, pour me, pour me now. I don't want to do anything after you want something. It's yours. I better want something finished. You're <laughs> something finished with your 19. Your own is 8, 12, 20. Oh, my own. <laughs> Add it to together. What number is that? What number do you get? 12, 20. Oh, yes. 32. Yeah, good response, baby. Who gave you this ring? Oh. Uh, one boy, she was coming them days. I remember the boy. You know, but I realized in life, you know, maybe you just need to be nice. Like, don't, don't. Like, don't take advantage of a good guy. Don't take advantage of a good guy, because sometimes these guys want to spend money on you, they really like you and all these type of things, but maybe you're not that 100% into them. Do you get what I mean? Like, once upon a time, there was this one guy that I liked. Well, I liked. I didn't like him at first. I actually never liked him, but he was never a friend liked of mine. Him. He was a friend of mine, and he was he loved me so much, and eventually he showed me, but then I was just like, mm, nah, like, never, ever, 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 ever. And then towards the ending of our, like, situationship, I realized that like wow I kind of like this person and by then it was what did you oh, okay so that was like you learned so yeah because at the end of the day I realized that like wow I kind of like you. okay so you did you I feel mean? like you liked the person and you liked all the things they were doing for you and I, not like I like the, the way company. they were treating I like the company I like the, company. I like the company. apart from the material stuff I like the fact that I had someone to talk to I had someone to flirt with I text, so I you don't think it was something feel. that was like like you were infatuated you actually felt like towards the end you said to gain <laughs> real feelings for this person fact. In fact, I, I realized that when I was now um, in a situation where like my feelings were on the line and I was like, you don't remember? And I used to come to you like, I, I remember. I, yo, I would always tell Patience, like, Patience, you need to treat this guy kind. You need to treat this guy kind. <laughs> Patience, I, I don't care. You know what he did to Ooh. me? Oh, that pizza. You said we got the many pepperoni. So, please, can you tell my friend how much the price of this pizza is? Gorge can fix. For one slice. Plus For one plus tax. So. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Wow, that's different. Is it just Guelph or campus price? <laughs> that was such, that was countryist. I mean, that was. Uh, can I get one, please? Yeah. That was cityist. Do you want to yeah. cut half? Yes, yes please. please. I actually oh, feel I feel so stupid paying five right dollars for yeah. this thing right here. You just go on those oh, okay, thank you. All right, so what were we saying before? We're talking about the pizza. That's how we cut it off. We're talking about no, we're talking about my situation ship. Yeah, your situation ship. It really was a situation ship. Yeah. Do you ever feel bad though? Oh yeah, I feel all, I feel bad all the time. No, not really. At the end of the day, things didn't work out for many reasons. It's so nice for me to know that there was someone out there who actually like you have your know, best interest at heart. No, this person had my best interest in heart, and I basically like I broke his heart. Um, and but the thing about it is that I didn't even break his heart like intentionally. No. Wait. No, because at the time I break. didn't. Hmm. Hmm. What? Not be break, you break that boy out though. Now nah, scatter, you scatter. My hair reds, even pizza, you won't use the pizza. <laughs> props now. You won't use pizza, they do props. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I take a picture of us? 
Okay, so let me just ask you this. This person wants to come back into your life now. Would you indulge in that situation again? Would you give it another try, like with your honest intentions? No. Or too much to finish. Like I, you know, we didn't end up on a good note. Like, so basically, like, let me explain to you, like, how we ended up wasn't like. It's not like I broke his heart and he just started crying and went away. Like, I don't know what changed in him or what happened, but during the end of our situation, he was very rude to me, you know, and even at the last day that we spoke, we ended up with insult. Like, he insulted me, and I was actually the mature person. I didn't even insult back. I just said, like, I don't blame you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it was just very uncalled for it. I felt like he was pressured, or I don't know, because I don't know him to be that type of guy. Maybe he just reached his, like, breaking point, but it was just very insulting. So for me, unless, like, I, I don't think I can move past that. Do you get what I mean? So do you feel like he's the only one that owes you an apology? Or do you feel like you kind of owe him, you guys kind of owe each other an apology? I don't think apology because I feel like any situation that we've got into in the past I've apologized for mm -hmm. in the past mm -hmm. so rounding up to our like last situation you know ship or whatever the days of our last situation ship I never did anything to him you know he was switching it up on me he was playing games with me like he was doing all these like different things yeah. and like I don't I don't think I owe him shit you owe he owes me an apology but um yeah but last time I mean I you know I asked some questions around and you know you know, when I, when I found out some answers, apparently homeboy still got some love from me. I mean, it may not be the same, oh, but still oh. got love. Obviously, what's up to say you get some of that, babe? I tell you, see, marriage gets spiritual problems. <laughs> salty, they, salty, they spark for inside that end. <laughs> no, the fact that I actually, like, fought Just for that, <laughs> you're a babe, you get busy. <laughs> you. Pizza, where I will use my money to pay back. Which malt? You just share the malt. Don't drink them. I just which malt? That malt that you want which now. Which malt? That we were in the car. I was just there doing my own thing, talking. The girl. It was my turn to drink the malt. And I just finished it. I look on the side. Oh, no, like, basically, what has ha what happened was. I was drinking the malt, right? And I was telling this girl about something. She was like, you know, insulting me. You don't need me with insult. No, you fool. Stop it. I want my talking anywhere. I have pick me. Pick me. They don't sell anywhere. Just Africa store. Pick me. Just insulting her father said, not knowing I was drinking the malt. And once she finished all her yapping, that was when she now realized that shit. Hey, but by then, it was too late. It happens, you know? To see her pick cheese is just stressing out. I've always, had, I always love had a cheese. problem. Since I was in elementary school, we do pizza day, and I always got pizza, but like I always had to pick up the cheese. And sometimes when they had like extra cheese in school, all the everyone was finished, I didn't order, uh, and I'm buying on the spot, I would cry, because everyone would be eating. And I'll tell my mom, say, mommy, you bring me McDonald's. Everyone's eating, and no one's offering me, and it's only cheese. So I bring McDonald's to them, and all my friends would be jealous. They want to can I have one? Can I have one? Can I have one fry? So we're so hungry. We decided to come to Niger Jalof. Is that joint that we're telling you is located in Mississauga. And this one, see our grumpy face. Oh God, don't leave me. See what's up, my darling. What do you want to eat? Why do you look like that? She gave me. I said she gave banana soup for Bobby. Just remember this. this. <laughs> You know, let me insult you. Let me not insult you. I've insulted you one too many times today. Anyways, let me show you guys what we're dealing with. There's jollof, there's fried rice, there's a fried fish, this one a toki, egusi day, okra day, snail day, bean stew. Let's say this one a pepper soup. So this plate, I know it's just for this one because last time she even <laughs> gave us puff puff. This, your auntie, you people's auntie, she eats everything by herself. Now that there's, oh yeah, remove jackets. Let me even help you, my dear. Come, let me help you. Let me assist Thank you. you oh, wife. yes. Oh, love. It. First of all, I'm not, yeah. Oh, you want to be the husband? <laughs> <laughs> be my guest, please. I love tired for the Okay, game. taste the meat pie. Let me know what one. Take the meat. Taste, taste the meat it. Pie. So I'm not really a big fan of meat pie, yeah, but I only like meat pie that there's no orishi orishi inside. You know those meat pie we say they go add, add um, peas, they add carrots, they add one or two other things. We say they don't like make sense pie. Well. Is it plain? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let me try the meat pies. And then I'm one of those weirdos. Let me know if you guys did this too. I eat around the meat pie, so this area right here, the crust, I love it. So good, guys. Very good, guys. So good. See your mouth. 
because I'm in love. And they try to be sexy because you. Yo, patience. Are you seeing your plate right now? My plate? Your plate. Are you seeing the deliciousness on your plate? You see, you see, you won't insult. Because you just insulted me before you did the video. Did you not just so, must I insult you on video? <laughs> <laughs> must I insult you in private? I did it for you. Look at you. Mm. So good, eh? You guys, just take a very good look at this place. Just know this is the type of service that you get when you come to eat at Ninja Jollo. I want you to taste it and let me know what you think. Yeah, she does. The food is even making her confused. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is the onions. I actually hate onions, you guys. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This one, you're still doing photo shoots. To be honest, I to be honest. To be honest, I think my favorite part of this food is the fish. Oh my gosh! This is so good. This is okay, look at my plate. I have what um is called ayamashe. Ayamashe is from a Yoruba land in Nigeria. Um, with some stew, some plantain, some chicken. I'm not really a meaty person, so I, I like to skip the meat. Designer stew. Oh, is it really? Yeah. And designer stew, so like panda. Get it? <laughs> that joke was so shit. <laughs> and then obviously we have an appetizer that we could not even finish. Fish and just fried fish. It should die for So good. So delicious. Like, hey, can, can we have a cheers to malt? Can we have a cheers with our malt? And I just want to say, you can see how they're not stingy with their quantity. Yeah. Food overload. As in, are we sure so we go finish this one? What are we choosing to? We're choosing to food. I beg, I'm being Nigerian. Nothing to us. <laughs> Joy? Tell you that I'm the one that told her to change the malt that they had here. What? They used to have tiger malt? No, ginger. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Ginger, ginger malt. Ginger. That's crazy. Give it to ginger. So good. Honestly, and what's amazing is the fact that we're eating at a food court, guys. Who would have ever thought that we'd be eating at a food court in a mall? Nigerian, Nigerian food. I'm actually really proud of Kudos, that. kudos, kudos, kudos. And you know the food is 10 times sweeter because now we need one cookout. Do you understand? So the food go, the food go more sweet. <laughs> So good. Okay. I feel like they wasn't bad because I know I would have dropped everything I'm doing. My mama see me, she would say I know very much. I swear. Like they talk to me. Whenever I been. Ah. What's that? Are you sure don't want to take this picture? Yeah. Yeah. Can I use that toilet? You wash it. No, no wash my hands. No, you can't. Must you lick my finger? <laughs> I want to your finger joint. This wow. food is intimidating. It's so good. I mean, I mean, not wow. This is the type of food you accept your husband when you know you're really trying to like. Take him. <laughs> Smash him. Someone's going in. Still, so I use my hand. My sister chop. Oh, Waje. Oh, your love goes sweet past the shit. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So I'm eating. See what you've done. See what your food has done. I'm now eating with my hands in public. Don't know me. Alright, you guys, I've actually really tried. How did your food taste? So good. I'm so happy that I'm on this one. We are to this spot, Abby. And I know it's very close to your church, so this is where she'll be coming every, every Sunday. And I right, so let me show you guys the CEO. This is the CEO of Nigeria Jollof. This is all her doing, you guys. She's about to eat her own food. Look at this. Make sure you guys come check it out, especially on a Sunday afternoon when you're done church. After you feel the spirit of the Lord, make sure you guys come over to Nigeria Jollof, located in Mississauga. I'm gonna leave the address in the bio so you guys can check it out. And you can have anything of your. See, on a very good day, there's even baga soup here. Don't be looking at it like this is one dry spot. This is where the baga soup normally stays. <laughs> Auntie, the food was delicious. Thank you so much. Do you see the stomach? <laughs>
guys, I caught this girl stealing my meat. This girl was stealing my meat. Where you stupid fool. No, look me. This girl, this. Where is, where is the meat? See, patient. You see, you, you guys, you guys see her white rice on here? Some Hold on, let me show you. Dash with you, you the Chris. You the mad. Somebody, see how there's no meat on her own plate. It's only one chicken. Stingy idiot. <laughs> Collect the meat. Patience is the type of child, let me tell you, she'll go into the pot, take meat, bite some more, and put the meat back. Get the animal. <laughs>